Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with another video for you and today we're going to be taking a look at the latest set of cable mod individually braided power supply cables that have been launched and they're now going to be supporting the Corsair RMI and the RMX series of power supplies. Now there's been a lot of questions on the forums about uh, why the old uh, Corsair cables didn't fit and I'm going to give you a bit of a kind of education and explain to you why but then I'm also going to show you how uh, cable mod have done something slightly different with theirs compared to the standard Corsair cables. Now I can say, uh, and it's not very often that this happens because normally I'm kind of uh, bound shut, but I've actually been uh, working with them on the cables for this. Uh, so that's another reason why I can show you some uh, alpha kits or the beta kits that we add out and I can also explain to you uh, about the, the differences with the cables um, and pretty much I know a fair bit about these because like I said I've been uh, working with them on this for probably about six to eight weeks now, pretty much since the RMI cables for, uh, power supply first come out. They've been working on the kits for this and we've been working through a few different versions. But it's actually, I think it's kind of interesting, which is why I'm doing a big, not necessarily massively long video, but just an explanation on what's going on. So, the RMI power supply has come out and the, the RMX is essentially uh, exactly the same apart from they've got a slightly different fan on it and it's not got the Corsair link. It's just literally it's just not there on that one. Otherwise they're exactly the same power supply. Now you'll be wondering to yourself why can't we use the old 24 pin because the 24 pin is the different one. And that's because rather than uh, on the uh, end that you would put into the power supply, it, rather than it having 24 pins as the old RMs did and all the old Corsair power supplies that, like the AX series with the AX 1500i, AX 1200i, uh, the RM series, they had a 24 pin. Even though it was split into two, it was a total of 24 pins. With the uh, RMI and the RMX, this is 28 pins. There is actually extra pins in there. Now there is a, there is monitoring cables in there, but there is a big difference at the other end of the 24 pin. Now you may have seen, uh, if you've bought one of these or you've looked at photos, that there is a big, big chunk of heat shrink at the end of the uh, cable. Now, uh, if you were to be a little bit naughty, like I have been, and uh, spread this open, you'll see hidden in there are some capacitors. Now, this isn't any big secret. This isn't some Volkswagen style cover up. These, this is literally just to help with the uh, ripple suppression. Uh, and uh, many other brands have been doing this for years. And Corsair got to the point where they take taken a lot of the technology inside of the power supply and a kind of purist kind of route to a level where they were like, everybody else is just slamming uh, caps on the ends now. So there's no reason why we shouldn't do it. So they followed suit um, and they've put caps on their cables now. And in my testing, they literally went right to the top of the grass as far as ripple was concerned. And that's a, in a good way. There was so little ripple. The RMX and the RMI actually uh, were, had less ripple than the AX1500i, which was a digital power supply. So just imagine how little ripple we may have got on the AX1500i if that had had caps at the end, for example. But anyway, so they've got these caps on the end, but this posed a problem for the boys at Cable Mod because uh, if we, they'd have put um, uh, caps at the end of their cables, it would have been incredibly, incredibly visible. So, bringing on the first set of cables that I got through, uh, if, we, if they'd have put the caps up here, they would have been very, very visible. So what we actually did was move them, because like I said, I've been uh, helping them dev these to make them look nicer. We've moved them 30 centimeters away from the power supply, so that means if they're 30 centimetres away from the power supply on your 24 pin, your 8 pin and your PCR Express, the capacitors are going to be hidden behind the motherboard tray. Assuming you're one of the majority of people that are going to have your um, cables round the back and not massively on display. If, you, uh, if you're one of the people that have got uh, PCR Express cables, is going to be the main one. If you're one of the people that have got PCR Express cables massively on display, you can use the older ones without the capacitors just means that you've got slightly more uh, ripple going to be going through. It really depends on uh, wattage and how much power you're, you're going to be pulling on them. 
but there is a, a you know there is going to be a little bit more ripple there. It was fine on the old RMs, so it's not like it's uh, a, a crazy level or anything like that. But essentially, what we did is we moved the caps behind the motherboard tray. Gets it out of the way, keeps it all nice and tidy. Also means when you've got your 24 pin in your case, for example, if you were gonna have them on uh, with like um, uh, cable combs and stuff like that, helps keep everything incredibly tidy. Uh, and then, like I said, it's just all missing. But if we, when we have a close look at these cables, these were the, the very first ones that came through, the, the heat shrink on the ends wasn't that great, I didn't think. So one of the things I suggested that Cable Mod did was have a second set of uh, heat shrink to tidy up the ends. Now, the um, I've got a set to show you. Now, the problem with this, this colour that I've got to show you is they're red and white, and there's only two red and white kits that have been launched, by, well, that, that have ever been let, sent by Cable Mod, and I've got both of them here because they're, they're, they're my colours. But it's the, I've got a black set as well, but the reason why I wanted to show you on the red and white is because it's much easier to show on camera. So we can sh show you how much tidier the second set, or the, the most recent set, I should say, and this is how they're gonna be getting sent out to you guys as well. Uh, just, just how tidy they are compared to the other ones. You've got a much nicer closed off ends, and it all does look kind of nice. The heat shrink is all nice and tight around the capacitor. You can see it there. Now, obviously, there is heat shrink visible, and it's the first time with cable mod cables that it, there ever has been, because it doesn't get used on any of the other cables because of the way that they're sealed and the way that the, the braid is so small. Um, so it's, it, it's a first with the cable mod stuff to actually have uh, the heat shrink visible, but it was either that or you would have had um, uh, you, you'd be able to notice the ripple difference. So, just to kind of put a ballpark in for you, by moving the um, capacitors halfway down the cables nearest dammit, you're probably going to get, in my testing, about two millivolts more ripple. That's how much difference just moving it makes a difference. Uh, if you were to run uh, normal cables uh, without the, um, uh, the capacitors, across the whole of your power supply, that might uh, go up considerably more. We can't actually test a 24 pin, but we were getting about six to eight millivolts more uh, with normal uh, um, PCI Express cables. But when I say normal PCI Express cables, we were, um, we'd filled the whole uh, power supply tester up with that. So it would have been the equivalent of running like triple SLI. So uh, for a normal kind of run of the mill rig with one rig in, for example, you may be down again to sort of like three or four millivolts difference for not having the capacitors whatsoever. Um, so it, it, it does get a little bit complicated, but the long and short of it is the capacitors are there to help with the ripple. We've moved them to a, uh, the best place that we possibly could do to, um, uh, for a mixture of the performance and aesthetics. If you wanted absolute tear in best performance and you're better with them, right up at the very, very end of your, uh, of your cable. But the fact that we've put them halfway down the cable, gets it out of the way, gets it nice and hidden, makes the rig still look super tidy, but you still do get the, obviously, very, very good benefits of having the capacitors there in the first place. It's just a slight relocation to where the OEM cables would have been. So I think it's kind of a perfect match, really. Now, also, what Cable Mod are doing with the RMIs and the RMX cable series that they're gonna be doing, you're going to be able to buy a smaller cable kit. So if you've already got a uh, RM kit or something like that and you've bought one of these, you can now get a 24 pin, uh, uh, an eight pin, and then a couple of PCI Express cables as well. So this is a, a perfect upgrade kit. But also what they're going to be doing is they're gonna be selling these as a, basically a smaller kit as well. It's almost like the essentials. Uh, so you'll be able to buy a cheaper kit. It just means that you won't get the like the Molex and the Satas in there as well, and, a, and not a massive plethora of PCI Express cables as well. So it's good news for those of you out there that have got an RM and have upgraded to an R RX. I know there's uh, people on the OC3D forums that were worried about this. 
where you are going to be able to buy a much cheaper kit so you can just upgrade your kit. Uh, but also, it's going to be a really good thing going forward for all of those of you out there that just think to yourself, well, a couple of PCI Express cables and a CPU cable and 24 pin cables, all I'm really going to be able to see anyway. So I could use those and that would be all well and good. The only thing I will say is for me, being a picky little so-and-so, is if you do have those and your power supply is visible in the bottom of your case, that is also a point where you can look at the cables and you can see what's fitted. So if you can see the black cable with your SATA and your Molex fitted, I think you should probably get the full kit and get the full benefit so that you've got all of the nicely, nicely uh, paracord braided cable mod sexiness um, uh, visible for you and all your friends and all your internet friends that you take the pictures of for even. So we've got that. Now the other thing that I do need to say is there is a whole range of colours which I will bring up in a lovely uh, uh, photo to show you. But there is a whole range of colours that you can get for these as well. And all of those colours are available for all of the power supplies that they cover, as well as these new ones. Now the, the RMX and the RMX cables are only going to be short kits for the minute, but the full kits will be coming later. It's only a slight delay because of a Chinese holiday. But after that, they, uh, they will be going full bang and you'll be able to buy yourself a full kit. Um, uh, but So like I said, caps are there, it's all good, don't see it as a bad thing and to be honest with you, they could have looked so much worse than this and you wouldn't believe the amount of emails going backwards and forwards, shipping to and from Taiwan that there's been just so that we can uh, get, because like I said, I've had uh, several versions of, this, uh, of these through and I've got the final ones and I'm really, really happy with them. Uh, and I finally got myself an all black kit as well, so I'm properly happy about that. But anyway, so cable mod, RMX and RMI uh, kits are now available and so are the other short kits for the other power supplies. People like Overclockers are going to be stocking them. I'm not too sure when the RMX and RMI kits are going to be in stock because we've just looked before filming this video and they weren't in yet. But we do know they are imminent because I've got mine, so that means that the, the factory are now uh, fully underway making the batches for all of you guys to purchase as well. Now I would love some feedback underneath because this is the first time, like I've said, that I've actually been able to go, oh, I helped with this. Normally when I help with stuff, I'm muted and I'm not allowed. Uh, but this is the first time, it's kind of nice. And it is kind of simple as well, putting some extra uh, heat shrink on, it's not a particularly big thing. And I don't think uh, saying that we should move the, the capacitors further down uh, is a particularly big thing either. So I'm not trying to say I'm the uh, cable modding genius, um, but it's just to get some feedback of you guys, what you think about where they are, because let's face it, um, uh, things can change, but I personally think this is probably the best uh, situation that could have come out of it. So I'd love to hear your feedback. Don't forget you can get them on a whole range of colours for lots of fully modular power supplies now. Um, and yes, I'm going to leave that with you, boys and girls. This is Tiny Tom Logan with another video for you. Out. Double ding! But I didn't do a ding, did I? Ding, 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 ding,